Hello and welcome to the first episode of The Daily Decrypt. I hope you enjoy the sound of traffic outside my window. Today it takes $238 or 212 euros to buy one Bitcoin. Cointelegraph reports that what is being called the malleability attack on Bitcoin continues as it has for about 72 hours now. And it's not as bad as it sounds. It really just appears, rather makes it appear to some users that they've double spent other uh, Bitcoins when by the time the confirmation has rolled around, it will stop appearing that way. So it's being called a minor nuisance, um, but nothing life changing. And it is expected to be fixed with BIP, yes, that is BIP 62, if and when that is implemented. Over the weekend, the Bitcoin subreddit reported that artist Imogen Heap had installed the Pro Tip browser extension, or rather that she had made her website Pro Tip friendly. Allow me to share with you what Pro Tip is, uh, as it looks like it could be a game changer for those who would like to earn their living online uh, by engaging an audience and who want to get paid in crypto. While it's currently just a browser extension for Chrome, uh, Pro Tip lets content viewers upload, or upload, I guess load, load uh, a Bitcoin wallet with X amount per week. And then as the viewer surfs you know, from blogs to YouTube to SoundCloud podcasts, whatever, uh, the Pro Tip extension is keeping track of how much time each person spends on a page that has a Bitcoin tip address on it. And then at the end of the week, the app automatically divvies up the Bitcoin that you deposited and gives it to the content creators whose stuff you enjoyed that week. And you will find that the Daily Decrypt is quite compatible with Pro Tip, should you like to try it out. Coindesk has reported on a survey called the Next Generation of Commerce Survey, and it interviewed about 2,000 people and asked them if a retailer began accepting Bitcoin, a retailer with whom you did not usually shop, would you be willing to switch, uh, to completely switch your longtime loyalties? And 3% of respondents said yes, that they would. And it also just so happened that the age group most likely to be willing to switch brand loyalty in order to use Bitcoin are those between the ages of 18 and 22. A blockchain hackathon that will take place in Dublin, Ireland is selling tickets for participants. It will take place on November 6th, 7th, and 8th. Anyone, even people without experience in cryptocurrencies or, or development in general, uh, is invited to attend. Uh, participants will get to meet each other and pitch their ideas to one another and then groups can form and there will be 50 hours given and the best blockchain uh, development will receive, let me look here, 5,000 euro will be the first place prize, 2,000 euro the second place prize and 1,000 euro will be the third place prize and uh, one of the corporate sponsors, Fidelity, will be giving a special prize of 2,000 euro as well. And TechDirt has reported on the ReFone, which is basically a kit. It is for builders and makers who would like to build their own cell phones. And once you have built the cell phone, you can make a case for it in any number of ways, not the least of which includes a 3D printed case. And lastly, if you're not yet following Edward Snowden on Twitter, you might want to jump on the bandwagon as the NSA whistleblower garnered something like a million followers within his first 24 hours on Twitter. And while you're at it, you could follow The Daily Decrypt. Links to all covered stories are contained below, as is the downloadable podcast.